Alhamdulillah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba'd In fact this is an urgent appeal to Muslims in order to embrace their faith and be happy and pleased with their faith as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has perfected his divine religion which is the system of Islam which is the religion of Islam which is the deen of Islam which has no shortcomings and requires no increase in fact Islam is suitable for all times and all uh, all, all time periods and for all nations and for all peoples however it requires from us sacrifice and it requires from us struggle and it requires for, for from us to return to the uh, divinely revealed sources and that means the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because we find that uh, indeed our brothers and sisters have broken into sects and groups and the Prophet ﷺ warned us against breaking into sects and groups calling ourselves this name and that name following this individual and that individual but rather the Prophet ﷺ said alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnata khulafa rashidin al mahdiin that it is upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided um, Khalifat Abu Bakr wa Umar wa Uthman wa Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in and some of the verses in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lets us know so the people who claim to follow Islam but yet they reject the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa in fact they're not following Islam as Imam Barbahari said Al-Islam huwa sunnah wa sunnah to heal Islam or kama qal that Islam is the sunnah and sunnah is Islam you cannot separate the two in fact they necessitate one because Islam, full Islam, is coming from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Wasallam. And one who claims to follow the Quran but not the Sunnah is in fact not following the Quran. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, we call it Ta'ala fi kitabi al kareem wa wa rasul. And follow Allah and follow his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa call it ta'ala, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, وَمَا أَتَاكُمْ الرَّسُولُ فَخُذُوهُ وَمَا نَاهَكُمْ عَنْهُ فَانْتُهُ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and whatever the messenger came with, meaning his sunnah, meaning his way of life, meaning his actions, his deeds, his mannerisms, everything, uh, then accept it. And whatever he prohibited you from, then leave it. And Allah the Almighty says, وَقَالَ تَعَالَى فَلْيَحْذِرَ الَّذِينَ يُخَالِفُونَ عَنْ عَمْرِهِ أَنْ تُسِيبُهُمْ فِتْنَ O Yusibuhum Adabun Alim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al Nur that be warned those who differ and go against the order of the Prophet وسلم, that a calamity would befall them or that they would receive a painful uh, torment. This is the jaza or the reward or the end result of those people who go against the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that is why it is imperative that we understand the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that we follow it and that we fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and strive our utmost to learn our religion and go back to those divine principles of following the Quran and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and how we understand the religion and how we practice the, uh, the religion, how we have our relationships, our relationships with, with our family, with our relationship with our friends, with our relationships with our associates, with our relationships and how we buy and trade and how we interact with society and various other societies and traditions all of that is protected in the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad all of that is encompassed in Islam there's nothing new whether we travel in space whether we establish communities in space whether we uh, have new technologies that is not included in Islam Islam is a complete and divine system from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who knows what we will encounter knows what we have encountered and is the creator of the heavens and earth and knows everything subhanahu wa ta'ala so he's given us this divine system in order to be able to interact as a human uh, as, as human beings with the creation around us and interact within ourselves and have interpersonal relationships Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows all and has created all and has given us the ability to interact with one another and the perfect si divine system to do so and in adhering to the Quran and adhering to the Sunnah this is how we will receive our success and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, or the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 
uh, said, Famina Sunna or I call it Sheikh Al Imam Barbahari, Famina Sunna Luzum al Jama'a. And from the Sunnah it is adhering to the the main body of the Muslims. This is what is imperative to be one hand. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded it in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and hold on to the rope of Allah and do not divide. The rope of Allah, as some of the Mufassirin, as some of the scholars of of the explanation of the Quran say that the Hablillah, the rope of Allah, refers to the Quran. And some of them say the rope of Allah refers to the Sunnah of the Prophet and or the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet All of those meanings, there is no contradiction between them. In fact, they are uh, they strengthen one another as far as interpretation, and they are included in one another. That in fact, Islam is the Sunnah, and the Sunnah is Islam. Wasallallahu wasallam ala Nabi and Muhammad.